Here's another video with Mr. George from Penny's Pounds and Pesos in Media PA discussing the topic of long and short snorters. Okay, long snorters and short snorters. This is one of the least understood areas of United States and world paper money. Um, some people think when a note is signed and crinkled that it is ruined. Far from the truth. The short snorter actually became known because of a term and unfortunately it's a drinking term used by airmen before the war when you were flying you could not drink a lot so you took what was called a short snort and a short snorter is a piece of paper money that is signed by the people that the owner comes in contact with in many instances it was a free pass for drinks when a person was at a bar and basically was asked to produce a shorter and this one is actually the nickname of the man, Short Snorter Lopez. And who knows how long he lived after the war. This is a short snorter, basically on a Hawaiian note, which shows signs of being in somebody's wallet for a long time. They're all autographed with many, many autographs by their friends. The long snorter is a series of notes gathered from the airmen's travels all over the world, signed by people throughout the country and in some instances this has a piece of the officer's beer chip that he could get a beer for a dime and some of these notes are very very valuable the one note from Iran is very valuable This note from the government of Fiji is another valuable note. Again, somebody might say that the tape and the autographs ruin the note. But no, you can't replace this kind of history. At some point, I am probably going to donate these to the Veterans Museum and Media. And uh, hopefully the rest of the world can uh, really appreciate this.